Welcome back to the garage for another first look video. Now I said I didn't do these videos very often and now I'm doing one the week after the last Triumph RR video I did. But I was contacted this morning by Suzuki about a brand new model they've got coming out actually in November. It's out very soon and this video is all about it, all the information. We're here today to talk about the all new GSX S1000 GT. Obviously, the GSX-S was updated earlier on this year, and I've rode that. Link to the video at the top, I was on the launch of that, lucky boy. But this is the GT version. We knew the F needed updating, which was like the old fared version of the GSX-S 1000. But rather than just do an updated F, they've created this new GT version. They've not just chucked a front screen and a bit of fairing on it, they've completely revised this bike. So stick around, stay tuned, grab yourself a cuppa, because this is where you're going to hear all the information about this brand new Suzuki. Chopsy, roll the intro. So this new GSX SGT, what is it all about? Well, I've ridden the GSX S this year, the new one. I was on the launch of that bike. I'm gonna be riding it again soon for a couple of weeks to get to know it a little bit better, but I absolutely loved it. Unfortunately, the day we rode it, it was peeing with rain. There's a video at the top there. It's absolutely pissing down with rain. So it works very well in the wet. We had a little bit of dry time on it, but I'd like to spend a bit more time with it. But it's a massive improvement over the old bike. They fixed everything which was let the old bike down. So the suspension felt better. It's got a quick shifter and blipper. The engine response and the throttle response was fixed. No more snatchy throttle. So, you know, this, this new GT, this new GT could be very, very nice. Why they're calling this bike a GT is because it's got a whole new subframe and you can connect optional hard plastic luggage. So you can have proper panniers on the back of this bike. And the panniers are big. You can fit a full crash helmet in these panniers. So this new GT uses, of course, the main frame and engine from the GSX S. That's the 152 PS, which is about 145 brake horsepower, 106 Newton meters of torque. That engine's a peach. It's got the quick shifter and blipper on it as well. So it's got all of those mod cons, but this bike, the biggest change for this bike, and I think the biggest step up for Suzuki, as this machine actually has a full TFT dash. Yes, gone is the Casio LCD. We've got a full TFT on this machine. And I always say, you know, TFT, blah, take it or leave it. But they were really lagging behind with that old LCD display. This has got a full TFT. It even looks like, you know, it does all the usual integration stuff for your phone, etc. But what this one seems to have, they seem to have hit the nail on the head with the implementation of this. It's got a brilliant sort of rev counter type display with the speed in the middle. On the right hand side, it's got the same layout as what the Hayabusa had with like the different the neutral and the different modules around the, the circular piece. And if you look at some of the map information, you can actually see the full map displayed on this display. A bit like they do on a lot of the cars, like the BMWs, where they have the map overlaid in the background on the actual screen. So it looks like Suzuki has done quite a big step with this uh, TFT. You can do all the usual stuff, phone integration, as I mentioned, you know, you can call contacts, you can listen to music and all that comes up on the screen. So this is a pretty big step and something I really wasn't expecting with this machine. I thought they were just gonna chuck a fairing on the GSX-S and call that the F. They've gone a bit further. They've made this a full GT bike. I've got a lot of time for this. So I just check in the phone. Um, Mr. Dunfly is gonna do a flyby over my house in a minute. <laughs> So part of this video, I'll try and video him flying over my house in his plane. So uh, <laughs> there's a little uh, cameo by the Mistleton Flyer in his airplane. The Mistleton Flyer's coming to see us, Mavis. You like him, don't you? Is he the big hunt who eats him. all of the Cornish pasties with the beard? Uh, no, he's not the bearded one. That's Bruce, that's Teapot. Mistleton Flyer, you know, the guy who flies the plane around. Well, I would prefer the red arrows, but it is what it is. She likes you really, Andy. Honestly, she does. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, not sure about that front end. But the more I've seen it, the more I like it. The actual headlights themselves are the same lights which is in the GSX-S. Obviously, they're stacked up in the GSX-S. They split them across in this. And I think the whole front end has a very sort of a R1 vibe about it. It's almost like an R1 GT. So the whole front end of the bike looks a bit R1-y, a bit like an R1. It's a cross between, I think, the Kawasaki Z 
the Kawasaki H2SX and R1 and the GSX-S. That's what the styling looks like. It looks like all those bikes have been mixed together and this is the end result with more of a long distance GT feel to it. I think it looks very nice. It's hard to tell from the pictures. You have to wait until you really see it in real life. But from the pictures, I think it looks pretty darn decent. Suzuki say they've done a lot of wind tunnel testing on this machine and they've got the front screen at the perfect height. There's nothing worse than a screen which is too high so you're looking through the screen or it's too low that it's not really offering you any uh, sort of wind protection. So they, they say they spent a lot of time in the wind tunnel perfecting this screen. They have also included an optional extra, a bigger touring screen they say. So you can get a, a, a slightly larger screen as part of the options pack, but I think the standard height screen would work perfectly on this. It's available in that lovely Suzuki Triton Blue, which is always a winner, that MotoGP Triton Blue. There's also like a metallic darker blue color and there's like a stealth black. So not massively wild on the colors, but that Triton Blue does look nice. Mwah. It's got all the uh, usual Suzuki stuff like the um, auto start, the uh, RPM assist, all those things, the quick shifter blipper, which I mentioned, which works really well on the GSX-S. The quick shifter and blipper is very nice. Thanks, Mavis. Um, oh, also it's got cruise control, which wasn't on the GSX-S, so they've added cruise control. They've really been through this bike to make it a really, really good GT machine. So the rear subframe's all new, of course, so you can have the pannier mounts to it, the full hard luggage pannier options. Um, the fairing's new, obviously, all new fairing offering wind tunnel tested wind protection. The new TFT screen, which I think for the first one they've done, looks very, very nice. So I'm really looking forward to trying that out. And of course, those new looks, cruise control, uh, five different traction control levels. It's got three different rider modes. So it's got everything in there, really. There's no IMU. It looks like everything is based on a non-IMU system, but the traction control and everything works well on the GSX-S. So it's, I think it's basically the same electronics as what was on the new GSX-S, which were great. And the absolute best thing about this bike is it comes in at a fantastic price. Suzuki is saying 11,599 in the UK for the basic bike, 11,599. So I think that's a thousand pound more expensive than the GSX-S. The luggage doesn't come on the bike. The luggage will be an optional extra. I don't know how much the luggage is. It's never particularly cheap, that hard luggage, but a base price of 11,599 for a bike of this spec with the TFT and everything. And we know Suzuki's ride beautifully. Mechanically, they're beautiful. They ride beautiful. Very, very easy bikes to ride. So I'm really rather excited about this. I'm hoping I may even be able to get on the launch of this one. The launch I think will be in October. The bikes will be in the showrooms in November. So um, you're gonna have to be able to get your asses on these bikes quite soon. And I think for a long distance GT machine, this looks absolutely fantastic. Well done, Suzuki. Come on, Andy. We wanna see you fly over my house. Dip your wings. How about a, how about a loop the loop? A roll. <laughs> he won't. You, uh, USB charger up by the dash as well. So you've got a USB charger you can plug in to charge your phone. Full LED lighting, um, six and a half inch TFT. It's a six and a half inch with an anti-scratch reflective coating. 19 litre fuel tank. Remember the new GSX S had a 19 litre tank. That same tank's on this bike. It's a 19 litre fuel tank. Yeah, it's good. It is very good. From, from what I'm reading here, it all sounds good. I like the cruise control, something I wish they'd put on the GSX S actually. They didn't. It's got cruise. It's got the quick shifter, six and a half inch TFT. You can't, you can't argue with that. And it's also got an app, what Suzuki are calling the My Spin app. So we'll we test the app out, see what that, that is like. I don't know if that's a costed option. I think you can use the app to then set your navigation, you know, and then get it near the bike and it all syncs up. But I do like the way it shows you the actual map on the screen. I've not seen that before. I've not seen that before. I think you can get that on the new um, RT BMW, but I couldn't get it to work when I tried that. It seems they got it on the Suzuki, so that's, that's the only other bike I think does it is the BMW. So that'll be interesting to try that out, actually. It seems Suzuki's finally joined the 21st century of their screens and technology. About time.
I think that's about all the information about this. Just a very, very quick look at this bike, a first look to let you know this bike's coming, share some of the pictures and video which Suzuki have sent me, and just let you know this thing's, if you're looking for a GT bike to do a bit of distance on, this thing will be in dealers very soon. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll go and see if uh, Mr. Fly is over the house yet, and uh, <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. So just, this is just a little extra video. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a like. If you like what you've seen, consider subscribing to the channel. But thanks guys, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers. There he is, there's a proper plane. There he is, somewhere there. He's coming around again, he says one more time. There he is, there's Andy. Yeah, he's right over top now. There he is, on his way home. Two parents.